what we could do is we're going to spend a lot of this topic finding it from theoretical values. But to start with, we're going to find a delta H value from um, an experimental value. So we can do a very simple experiment, or you can do experiments where you take some propanol, and I put the formula there, but I know you haven't done alcohols yet. We're just going to call that propanol for the moment. And we burn 0.28 grams of it. So I light it up. The heat gets transferred into the water, and the water heats up. And in this experiment, the water temperature increases. So the temperature increases by, and we're going to say uh, 21.5 degrees C. Yeah. Is it M2O or H2O? H2O. So I've got 100 grams of water in here, in like a can. I burn 0.28 grams of propanol. It heats the water up by 21.5 degrees C. And I need to find delta H from that. Key things just to note is enthalpy. Yeah. Enthalpy. Changes are measured in kilojoules per mole. So we need to find the entropy change in kilojoules per mole for that. So there are three easy steps to do that. The first step, A, is calculate the energy transferred to the water. Now, hopefully you remember, we can use a simple formula for that. Do you remember from GCSE, the energy, and that's going to be the energy in joules, is equal to the mass of water Times the, times the specific heat capacity of water. Oops. Times delta T, which is your temperature change. So if I do that, my mass of water was 100 grams. The specific heat capacity, they always tell you this in a question, is actually 4.18. I'm just going to change that to 4.2. The temperature change, they've told me, is 21.5 degrees C. So if you do that, you end up with it being 9,030 joules. Did, you would have done something similar to GCC, I think. If you notice, Entropy change we said are measured in kilojoules per mole. And I've got the heat, the energy in joules, so what do I need to convert that into? Kilojoules, so that is, I divide by 1,000, 9.3 kilojoules. So that's the answer for the first part. The answer has to be in kilojoules. I found that bit per mole. So I now need to find the number of moles of fuel burned. So moles of propanol Wait, what are we finding out? the moles of propanol that I used mm -hmm. so moles we remember is mass okay. over molar mass the mass of fuel that I burnt was 0.28 grams the molar mass of propanol is 60 and that equals 0 0.00466 moles. Would you be expected to use both options? Right, the final step is to actually calculate delta H. 
So the delta H is equal to the energy change, which we worked out in part A, divided by the moles burnt. Yeah, so I'm calculating delta H. The energy change we worked out to be 9.03. The moles burnt is 0 0.00466. If you do that, it comes to 1935 kilojoules per mole. But one thing that people always forget to do. Is this an exo or endothermic reaction? Exothermic reaction, we know that because my temperature went up. Exothermic reaction is delta H, what's the sign of delta H? Negative, negative. you've got to put a negative sign. That's in red, doesn't come out very well. You've got to put a negative sign in front of your reaction because it is an exothermic reaction. They will be a mark for putting that solid.